Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Speedy Ergo 365 Pro Expedition Jacket, available at revzilla.com speedy. The Ergo 365 Pro, yes, it's a mouthful. It is the top of the food chain adventure touring all season jacket from Speedy. It's very protective, it's very functional, it's very adjustable, and it's very visible. This is meant for all season riding, true four seasons, so it'll vet in the summer, it will protect you in the winter, and it will protect you in extreme cases of either getting off the bike or needs for longer distance riding. So when you look at it, you're really looking at an Apex product, what I would consider an heirloom product, not just within the Speedy line, but a jacket that's gonna stand on its own two feet compared to something like Revit, compared to something from Climb or Top End from Dionese, that's gonna be a true four season garment. Before I dive into all of the functionality here on the Ergo 365 Pro, Peter here from a size standpoint is 6 foot 195. He's wearing a size extra large. We tend to find that Speedy runs a full size small or half size a full size small. Peter's going to size up here. Peter typically wears a large in most American cut stuff. So we look at it from the exterior, you're gonna see a high denier polyamide, which is going to be the 10X material that Speedy uses in all of their garments. This is the, one of the more higher, this is the most, most rugged blend, and we use 10X flex here in the stretch panels on the back, and you'll see that when I turn Peter backwards. If we look at it on the outside, just at first glance, you see a lot of pockets, you have waterproof pockets, they are removable. We'll get to that towards the end of the video. Lots of 3M scotch light, reflective piping, or reflective uh, tape here. Adjustability here at the, all of the cuffs. So one of the things that's really cool, as you see it on the collar, you see it on the cuffs, is that you know normally you're going to have a snap, you're going to have a YKK zipper that's going to open, exposing the cuff. What Speedy does is they have these Velcro tabs that live on their own two feet, and what you can do is you move these to where they're appropriately positioned, so you don't have a ratchet system, you don't have anything that you have to micro adjust past that, but a lot of times what we've seen is the ratcheting snaps sometimes can wear, over, wear out with time. So using this Velcro and making sure that the male side is the downside, you can do it so here on the cuff, you can kind of set it and forget it and using the snap and the zipper to get in and out. And then here, I'm gonna turn you slightly that way, stop. Up here on the collar, you have the same thing. So you have your loop back, and really if you have a thinner neck, you can put this guy towards the further towards the back and cinch it all the way back. And if you have a bigger neck, or depending if you wear the liners in and out, you kind of are able to tune, and they call it the ergonomic safety tuning system. But what you're gonna be able to do is then pull that together and keep it in the, in the correct area for the right circumference so it's most comfortable. Come back around. Now, first glance, you are looking at it, you're seeing the hydro back system, which is incorporated. We, we talked about the cuffs, we talked about some of the pockets. Let's start to talk about the ventilation here. So we look firstly on the arms. Again, YKK zippers. You have an arm vent. Peter, I'm going to bring you back that way and we're going to lift your arm. You have an arm vent that comes all the way down here and goes all the way towards your forearm or right towards the crook of the elbow. And you can see the stretch here on the side. Go ahead and put your arm back down. Come back around to the front for me. Moving you around a lot here today. On the sides and on the front of this guy, on here on the Ergo Pro 365, you now have vents that remove a high denier mesh. So again, it's protective. And how these, these vents work, is you pull them down, you Velcro, and then you would snap. There's a snap underneath that. There we go. So you lock them in place on both sides here. So I'm going to come up here, pull the zipper across. Again, YKK zippers and high quality snaps that aren't going to wear off on you. This pocket's actually removable. This is one of the H2 out pockets that you can zip off and pull away. Notice that. And it will actually connect to the back of the jacket if you want. Again, there's a lot of flexibility here. I'm actually going to pull that pocket off and throw it. But here's the, again the flap that lives behind it. And again, it's giving you that extra dry pocket. So that's why when you're in this configuration, you might want to snap that pocket to the back of the jacket and just kind of get it out of the way. And this would snap down. You have a shock cord D-ring, which is buried underneath here. Again, depending on if, if you're potentially on a dirt bike or, or riding in a situation where you need that shock cord. And you have, the, uh, you have the ventilation here on the front. And even down here along the bottom, you're going to have the ability with these waterproof dry pockets. Again, YKK zips, they're going to come right down. These actually have, this one has the double D-ring. But on the other side, I'm going to snap it off, and you see there's hand warmer pockets there. On the other side, it's actually going to have loops on the back so that you can remove this pocket. And you actually, this is really big in Europe. You can wear it along your belt. So you can put a belt loop through there. And again, it's a completely waterproof dry pocket. So you kind of have that fanny pack option. Again, high quality snaps, high quality zippers. And you notice that you're not giving anything up by way of protection behind it. And it is a full scale zipper here. So it's connected with a snap to keep in place, but it's a, it's a heavy duty zipper to keep it so that if you did go down and it wouldn't shear off. Again, YKK zips. Now you have hand, light hand warmer pockets there as well. So turn face completely aside for me, Peter. I want you to lift your arm slightly. Adjustment here along 
along the waist, you can see where that, where that sleeve or where that zipper comes down under the armpit. You can see the 10X flex material that also has a gaiter to cover that seam on the back. And then you have a three-way adjustable snap here along the hip. More reflective, more reflective piping. Turn completely backwards for you, Peter. You're going to see two Venturi vents that vent directly to the body. So your waterproof breathable liner is completely removable here, as well as your thermal liner. And when you have those internal layers out, your venting is going to go directly to the body, something that people are going to want to know. Make sure you're not venting to a liner. A lot of times in the summer, summer months with a coat this heavy duty, you're going to make sure you get that complete ventilation. You do have your zipper here that you could connect one of the front pockets and again, snaps to keep them down. And like I said, there's your Venturi vents here. So air comes in through the front, not yet, Peter, and then it's going to get sucked out of the back. Now, if we look at the back, here's my hydro pack system. I'm going to loop it through. I'm going to start to dis dismantle this. Like I said, with this jacket, we're going to work from the outside in. Towards the end of this video, we're going to pull the jacket off and work it through on the table. But here's my hydro pack system. And now, again, a lot of functionality here. You have waterproof pocket. Here's my map pocket. This is actually a two-in-one hydro pack system slash tank bag that's going to be fully removable. So what you have is this piece that comes off. You can remove the hydro pack system, which is refillable and lives inside here. So I'll open that up. Here's your hydro pack. You can use it if you don't, or if you want it or not, and it's heavy duty, and it's going to be 60 ounces. Throw that off to the side. Now this piece right here really becomes a tank bag, and you can see the straps on the back of it, double D-ring for cinching down, and the straps are actually, this one just came right out of the bag. You have your map pocket, and the straps are also included. So here are your straps that would go around your tank, instructions for assembly, but again, you have a lot of flexibility. So it's really meant to be an expedition style heirloom coat that's meant to last you a long time. And really, one of the nice parts about a jacket that has you know, this much built into it is you're not having to buy a lot of extra things to add on to it. So you're, it's coming with a lot, most of what you need right out of the pack. So again, here's the back section that's stripped down. One of the things you're going to notice is that we do have a CE Level 2 back protector. It's the Warrior Evo. It is going to be included, and it's actually stowable as well. So it has some flexibility to it. You could fold it, put it in a GV bag, you know, if you're, or you're, whatever the case is you're using on your bike. And notice that 10X flex material along the, uh, along the shoulder blades. And you can see even the reflective here along the back. We even have cinching along the back of the collar to cinch us down, you know, in heavier duty weather conditions. Come back to the front for me, Peter. So let's talk about the armor a little bit. We've talked about the exterior denier. We've talked about ventilation. We've started to break down some of the external components here on the Ergo 365 Pro. It's using the biomechanical armor from Speedy. And what that means, it's going to be CE rated armor that's very comfortable. We're going to pull it, pull it apart a little bit later in this video. But what it allows you to do is it allows it to move. It moves with your body. It's Speedy's highest end armor. So elbows and forearm, as well as shoulders. And if we start to unzip, you're going to see one more feature. You know, Speedy makes its own CE rated armor. It's called the Warrior Armor. And as we break this down, you're going to see that we have the Warrior Armor included. Now, you're looking at a jacket north of $1,000. Like I said, it's going to include everything. Here is your Warrior Armor. It snaps in over here, so it's easy to remove. But again, it's the CE, it's that, it's the CE Warrior Armor, it's PU. It's ventilated. It's meant to be comfortable against your body. And again, a lot of times in these type of riding scenarios, we get into, we, there's a lot of data that shows in a crash, somebody's sternum and chest and chin. The other, this area right in the front can take a lot of wear and tear or is really accident prone. So it's nice to have that. If we look at the inside, it's the H2 outliner. So this is your full complementary waterproofing now. So the H2 outliner, waterproof, breathable, ripstop, it's meant to be worn as a destination layer. So there, it's fully, it's fully built in. You'd start to pull it out that you can see the styling of it and again we're going to show it we'll show we'll cut to it here but we'll show it again on the table and if you look at the inside of the jacket you can see here's where your warrior connected mesh on the inside you're going to get great airflow through notice it's a nice soft material around the inside of the neck so it's not going to chafe and then once we go past the H2 out which is fully removable has its own pockets and really is a standalone windbreaker slash rain liner I'm going to open it up and you're going to see now we have it snapped into the Alumatec 200 gram insulative liner. So we have this jacket really to be set up for wintertime riding. And we look at this, this is reflective like a shock blanket, so it's meant to keep your heat inside. But one of the really smart things they did is they added an area for breathability along the armpit so it's not going to overheat you. Your body needs some exhaust places, and the top of your head and under your armpits are one of them. And as we go here, nice fleece zipper garage comes down. Now we open up to the to the thermal side, you can see in the cooler times of the year, anywhere that a zipper would contact your skin is going to be uh, fleece lined and you have fleece lining around the collar as well. Remember, there's a lot going on here. Peter has all of the size in, but you can see how it sits on his frame, 6'1", 195. He's wearing a size extra large. It's just high quality, really well designed, and a lot of the pieces are multi-use. 
So now that we have the Ergo 365 Pro off of Peter, let's break down some of the nuance here on the table. As you can see, I have a lot of the detachable pockets and some of the adjustable you know, pieces from the outside of this coat already are still pulled off. One other thing I neglected to mention, it actually comes with a stuffable dry bag that comes with its own. It's a ripstop bag that actually folds into its own stuff sack. So again, for what you're investing in this jacket, it's very complete. As we move to the inside, so let's start with the thermal layer and work our way out. What you're going to notice, and again, we talked about the amount of fleece in the areas that are going to come in contact with your body. It also has some really cool informational features, and they're actually built into the coat. So again, if you're having a hard time, if you know what the temperature or the ambient temperature is outside, it gives you a nifty little chart here that also talks about the wind chill factor, depending on the speed you're going to be riding at, and allows you to really potentially get a gauge for fine tuning the jacket before you set out for the day, you know, or start riding and then realize that you're either bundled up too much or you need to strip down some of the liners. One thing we neglected to mention, as you notice there's a hidden pocket in here, the Ergo 365 Pro also comes with a balaclava that lives within this pocket that's a detachable, there are two snaps, but again it's coming with everything you need from the waist up to completely outfit yourself. And we met right here in the States, you know, there are a matching pant for this jacket, but you know, based on what we're carrying here at Revzilla, you can also go with something like the marathon pant. Notice pocket on the inside with snaps. Very functional depending on the configuration. So let's pull out our Alumatec thermal liner now. Like I said, it's 200 gram insulation, so it's plenty beefy enough. And one of the things that impressed me is the thoughtfulness of putting not only fleece lined areas, but areas for breathability here. You can see it better on the right side here in the armpits because you're going to need some way of allowing your body to shed excess heat through the coat, even in the colder times of the year. And the armpits are where your naturally body wants to do that. So I have my left side still built in. Let's work to my right side here. I'm going to reach in my H2 outliner. It snaps along the inside for the thermal. And they are reinforced snaps, so they're not going to pull through the liner. And you can see that, see how they have a washer there. And they have some, they have some cushioning, so that washer is going to keep it so that those snaps don't pull through. It's something that we see um, what I would consider lesser manufacturers of technical product maybe not doing. And then over time, you'll have some of these plastic snaps pull through the liner itself. So they're giving you a good chance to increase the longevity of the jacket and not do that. So again, plastic snaps there. I'm starting to pull my Alumatec liner out. The necessary collar stay to keep it there, so snap up towards the top. And then my right side should be out already. I like to do that. There we go. So my right side, oh, it's not. So there's my right side. And here's my Alumatec liner. Now my Alumatec liner, as you see front and back, and it is finished. You can see even the way that the sleeves are done, not meant to be worn standalone, really just meant to be beefy and keep you warm when it is frigid outside. Now we move to the H2 outliner. And the H2 outliner is very cool. It also has its own YKK 360 zip. 360 degree zip, and you also have eyelets or cinch, snaps at the, cinch straps at the bottom to be able to pull it down. The H2 outliner is meant to be worn standalone if you like. So you have now a waterproof rain layer. So if you're riding, if you're camping, if you want to shed the outer shell and just keep the waterproof um, breathability factor on it, you know, notice that we have we have water resistant zippers that have you know the appropriate coating to keep water out of the pockets. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach down the sleeve, and it is a hook at the end. So these are now not snaps. It's a single snap that goes through an eyelet, so it, and it's a red eyelet, so you can find it. Again, just a, a feature that comes with someone who's been manufacturing technical jackets for some time. It's one of those things that you know new entrants into the adventure market typically get on the second or third iteration. They don't get it out of the gate. So you know Speedy's been doing it for a long time. I have it snapped out here at the back. You can see that there's a cinch out here at the collar. But one of the things that's hard to, hard to notice is that you have a ripstop material here too. And what the ripstop is, it's tiny stitching, tiny squares that if you have a puncture, it's not going to run on you. Those tiny, those tiny squares actually encaps, encapsulate rips, encapsulate tears, so it, it keeps it from running on you. So you can see, and they positioned it with a longer than average seat. And like I did say, you do have that 360 degree zip so you could connect it to the rain liner of the pants as well. And it has a nice style to it. It's meant to be worn standalone. Now we bring it back to the outer shell. And we've talked about the armor. We talked about the Warrior armor that snaps into the chest. Here's the Warrior Evo CE rated, or CE level two back pad that is removable here. So from the Warrior Evo back protector, we go into the biomechanical shoulder armor. It's the same as the elbow armor. It's the highest end armor from Speedy. And so it's obviously CE rated and it's meant to be comfortable. But the nice part about it is you can see it has hinges. So it's meant to be biomechanical and move with a natural range of motion on your body. If it was one panel, it potentially would stay in one place and the whole piece would have to move. It gives you some additional flexibility. And notice it's all encompassing and it's manufactured by Speedy. So they are doing their own proprietary types of armor. 
Very cool as well. Just like we saw inside the thermal liner, now you have almost instructions, and they really are instructions, that are built into the jacket. So if you're ever completely breaking it down and need to put it all back together, you have kind of an instruction that tells you where everything goes and some of these pockets and how it's all meant to be used. So again, a nice reminder. So when you get it in the mail, keep those care instructions but you don't have to take them with you on every, on every ride if you're, you know, again, this jacket's a bit of a transformer, meaning that you can really do whatever you need to do with it. YKK zippers, a lot of pockets that carry through to all of the additional liners. Even the collar here on the outer shell is meant not to chafe you, so it's not as soft as the thermal liner, but again, it's not as, not as rigid as some of the outer shell material. So, if you're currently wearing an Ergo, 365 Pro Expedition jacket, or you're seeing it for the first time within the Adventure Touring lineup, let us know your feedback. Leave it on the product detail page on Facebook, on RevZilla TV, on our YouTube page. You can also subscribe to us at RevZilla TV. Stay up to date with all of our latest videos and gear reviews as we continue to roll them out. Make sure you subscribe there. And if you have any questions about adventure gear, jackets, or anything on RevZilla TV, give our gear geeks a shout at cs at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Everybody under this roof rides, and we can all speak, speak gear with you and help you decide what the best investment is for your riding application, your style, and really what need you have within the motor, your motorcycle, um, motorcycling hobby. As always, it's over 30 bucks. The chips are free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back, and you can earn teams of cash to be applied to every order over $100 by continuing to shop with us. So thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Speedy Ergo 365 Adventure Touring Jacket, available at RevZilla.com slash Speedy. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.